Hi everyone, welcome back to our series on building applications with infrastructure as code. My name is Talia Nasi, and in this video, we're gonna be talking about how to customize our configuration files using variables. In the last video, we created a configuration file using the Linode Terraform provider, and we were able to deploy a compute instance using that provider. So in this video, we're gonna learn how to customize a configuration file. Recall that when we build applications with infrastructure as code, instead of provisioning resources from your cloud provider's console, you provision them from a configuration file. Input variables can make your infrastructure as code configuration files more flexible by allowing users to customize the configurations. And you can customize your infrastructure by assigning different values to variables before execution begins rather than editing configuration files manually. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the Terraform registry. And the way that you go to the registry is you go to registry.terraform.io and here you'll be able to see all of the providers that Terraform uses. You can browse modules. Um, and this is where we're gonna get some infrastructure as code so that, that we can use in our application. So we're gonna be adding a Linode database. So we're gonna go into the search bar and type in Linode MySQL because we wanna add an SQL database. Now, Linode is one of the providers that you can use with Terraform, and a provider is how Terraform connects to the rest of the world. And these providers include AWS, Google, Microsoft, um, all of these different cloud providers. So what we're gonna do first is we're going to click on this purple button that says Use Provider, and we're gonna copy this code into our configuration file. So that's copied here. Be sure to add your Linode API token into line 11 where it says token. Next, we're going to add our MySQL database instance. So we're gonna copy this resource that's listed here that says Linode database MySQL. So copy that. Now let's paste that into our configuration file. So what I want to do now before we deploy this configuration file is create a few variables so that we can input those variables into our configuration file and we can parameterize this configuration file so that we can clearly see what's being used, which variables are being used where, and it'll be easier to customize our configuration file with variables. So the way that we do that is we're going to create a new file and we're gonna call this um, variables.tf. And in this file, we're going to create a couple of different variables. So the first one we're gonna do for the region. So you can see here, we're hard coding the region US Southeast, but what if I wanna use a different region? You know, this is something that should be listed in a variable. So we're gonna go ahead and type variable and then Linode underscore region. Then we're gonna add a description and we're gonna call this Linode region. We're gonna add our type and this is a string. And then we're gonna add the default. So the default here, we're gonna default it to US Southeast because that's what we wanna use, but we can change this to any other region. All right, now let's save that. So variable, variable blocks have three optional arguments. The first is the description, which is just a short description to document the purpose of the variable. Type is the type of data that's contained in the variable. And then we have the default value. So what we're gonna do is we're going to replace the hard-coded value with the variable that's in the configuration file. So now we're gonna go to our configuration file and we're going to change the region to be var dot linode region now we're going to create an execution plan and deploy this configuration file so let's go ahead and run terraform plan okay so now that we've run terraform plan we can see that we plan to add this one database this sql database now let's run terraform apply to apply those changes type in yes to perform those actions. Hold on. I have another database that uses the my database label, so we're gonna change this to my DB. And now let's run Terraform plan again.
Let's apply those changes. Okay, so now we're going to wait for this to finish. It could take a few minutes. So after we applied those changes, we can go back to our Linode account. And when we go to databases, we can see MyDB, it's being provisioned right now. And we can see that the region is the region that we entered in, in the variable, it's Atlanta. That's um, US Southeast. So using variables in your configuration files provides a safe way to customize your infrastructure while providing a great user experience. Thanks for tuning in everybody. In this video, we learned how to customize our configuration files using variables. And in the next video, we'll talk about how to add sensitive information into your configuration files. My name is Talia Nasi. Be sure to like and subscribe to this channel to be updated when we post new videos and new content.